नमस्कार माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम के जी कपूर वेलकम टू इंडस्ट्रियल सेफ्टी एंड फायर सेफ्टी मैनेजमेंट क्लास इन दिस क्लास यू विल लर्न अबाउट सेफ्टी इंस्पेक्शन एंड सेफ्टी ऑडिट व्हिच इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल सेफ्टी मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक्स कवर्ड इन वीक टू ऑफ द कोर्स द सब्जेक्ट हैज बीन इंडेक्सड ओवर व्यू एंड इंट्रोडक्शन एंड इन सेफ्टी इंस्पेक्शन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एसोशरी रिक्वायरमेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेफ्टी इंस्पेक्शन प्रोसेस ऑफ सेफ्टी इंस्पेक्शन सैम्पल चेकलिस्ट फॉर सेफ्टी इंस्पेक्शन एजुकेशन ऑफ सेफ्टी इंस्पेक्शन न्यू इक्विपमेंट रिव्यू एंड इंस्पेक्शन एंड इन सेफ्टी ऑडिट विल डिस्कस अबाउट एसोशरी रिक्वायरमेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेफ्टी ऑडिट्स एलिमेंट्स ऑफ सेफ्टी ऑडिट सेफ्टी ऑडिट प्रोसेस सैम्पल सेफ्टी ऑडिट रिपोर्ट फॉर्मेट एंड फाइनली विल समराइज इंडस्ट्रियल सेफ्टी मैनेजमेंट टेक्निक्स इज द फंक्शन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट A function of management are planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling. Industrial safety management techniques are part of controlling process. Controlling process include established standards, major performance, correct deviation, feedback, and again major performance. Some of the safety management appraisal and control techniques are plan safety rules and procedure, safe operating systems. safety inspection and safety audits which we are going to discuss today a safety sampling safety survey job safety analysis safety inventory system product safety safety tag system total loss control and prevention safety inspection and safety uh, audit these two are interrelated techniques safety inspections root out potentially dangerous behaviors and dangers that could lead to accidents within an organization safety audits examine programs and process to ensure they meet a company safety objectives similarities between safety inspection and safety audits uh, are one is the broad goals both strive for a safer workplace that complies with all regulations and standards next is the safety checklist in the both the cases safety inspection safety audit we may use a safety checklist that include relevant safety standards best practices and other recommended precautions safety inspection and safety audits are management appraisal and control techniques for prevention of accident What are the differences between safety inspection and safety audit? That is the scope. An audit reviews safety program and strategies, while an inspection examines current tactics and routine implied action. Responsible parties. The safety inspections are usually performed by those familiar with the workplace, while independent employees, whether from outside the company or another department should conduct a safety audit the purpose of safety inspection and safety audit are a little bit different the inspection assess if the safety processes effectively ensure the health and safety of the organization's team member the iso 902015 definition states an inspection is a determination of conformity to specify the requirement an audit is more in depth examination of how the company manages team members health and safety the same iso standards define an audit as the systematic independent and documented process for obtaining objective evidence and evaluating it objectively to determine the extent to which audit criteria are fulfilled for example a person need to inspect equipment either wholly or a part of it twice every week this work is termed as inspection it is done based on a checklist that typically has yes or no responses for an audit an example is the organization may carry out an annual audit to ensure 100% compliance with the requirement to inspect the equipment 
So while an inspection is a simple what, audit go many levels deeper to uncover the why. Then the duration is another difference. The safety audits are less frequent and more extensive than safety inspections. The annual safety audit could take several days, durations, week to complete, while a safety inspection might only take 5 or 10 minutes at the beginning of a shift. A safety audit evaluates safety programs and strategies within a workplace, whereas a safety inspection investigates safety techniques and typical employee behavior. A safety inspection is a systematic examination carried out by the authority to determine whether the provider's infrastructure, system, products, or the services compliant with regulatory or other applicable standards including the state safety management system of the provider. Safety inspection provides a systematic method for involving supervisor, employees, safety coordinators for eliminating workplace hazards. A safety inspection looks for safety hazards and unsafe practices throughout a facility. The inspection should determine whether safeguards are in place, examine whether the equipment presents any hazards, gather air, water, and other sample to test for hazardous substances, observe work practices to identify unsafe actions. Once recognized, any hazard present can be rectified and eliminated. The primary purpose of inspection is to detect unseen potential hazards so that they can be corrected before an unintentional injury or illness occurs. In action, find conditions to be improved to bring operations up to acceptable standards from safety and operational standpoints. Secondary purpose are to improve operations and thus to increase efficiency and effectiveness. Plan instructions at specific intervals are what most people regard as real safety and health ins inspection. They follow an established procedure and use checklists for routine items. Inspections can be any of one of the three types, periodic, intermittent, and general. Some issues have direct or indirect obligation on the management for undertaking regular inspections. Essentially, requirement of safety inspections are Factory Act 1948, Section 7A. The occupier shall ensure, so far as is necessary practicable, the health, safety, and welfare of all workers while they are at work. Through inspection, these provisions can be fulfilled. The building and other construction workers' regulations of employment and conditions of service center. Service Central Rules 1998, Rule 104BC says that inspection and the supervision provision each time players will ensure at a construction site that the persons responsible for construction work do regularly inspect the work. Rule 116 ins Inspection Employer shall ensure at construction site or the work that person responsible for demolition work makes continuous inspection. The building and other construction workers regulations of employment and conditions of service, Central Rules 1998, Rule 2092, Schedules 8, Number of Safety Officers, Qualification, Duty of Safety Officers, then they say that to carry out safety inspections of building or other construction worker in order to observe the physical conditions of work and the work practices and procedures followed by building workers and to render advice and measures to be adopted for removing physical conditions and preventing unsafe actions by building workers. Other regulations are CEA Regulations 2010 and the Boiler Act 1923 and rules and regulations thereof. There are several ways to perform safety inspections of a workplace task or job 
most popular ways are the checklist safety inspections. This is very good for regular inspections of specific items. However, they may not be as useful in identifying previously unrecognized hazard. Develop your customized checklist using several ready-made checklists and putting them together. Sample checklist is given in Annex A along with elements of inspection. Then the general knowledge, safety inspections, use the information with you and just walk around looking at what is going on. You do not use a pre-made checklist for this type of inspection. Now risk mapping safety inspections is another method. This method is a good method to use a safety meeting where everyone that is familiar with the workplace or the process. People in the group then tell the leader the hazard they recognize and where they are located in the workplace or the process. This type of inspection is valuable for involving all employees in identifying and resolving safety hazards. Inspections include process equipment, workplace environment, employee training and emergency plan and so on. Safety inspections should be conducted at least every six months and inspectors should be familiar with the workplace tasks or the job. The process of safety inspection is very easy. There is a team formation like inspection team include a supervisor and an employee from the area to be inspected. To follow up finding, someone should be assigned to develop a correction for each problem that was found. The fix, then we have to fix the deadline for the correction of each problem. Now review your inspection report for trained. The resources that are compulsorily used in developing effective safety inspection procedures are the suggestions from the supervisors and employees, reviewing the types of accident incidents that have occurred in the past, reviewing applicable policies and procedures, suggestions from safety department. This is a sample checklist for safety inspection. This, is a, this inspection checklist consists of the department, inspection date, then the building, then room number, supervisor name, inspector name. And here, why we can denote for the satisfactory and for the need improvement, and any means not applicable. This may be having uh, the check inspection point or the checkpoint at the general the workplace clean and orderly, then exit cleared or obstructions and accessible. And we can say yes, no, or not applicable, then action by, then PDC are the probable date of completion. These are to be filled in this checklist. The other uh, aspect to be checked are the training, fire, in the fire, for example, portable fire extinguisher is visual and unobstructed, and many more points. The safe lifting, personal protective equipment, electrical equipment, mechanical uh, equipment, other machinery, hazardous materials, the checkpoints shall be added at each element. The execution of safety inspections needs some guidelines. The guidelines for compliance is, is the written procedure for safety instructions, a checklist available for inspection for different areas, whether the safety inspection is carried out by the designated team, whether the frequency of safety inspections is defined, and many more similar guidelines are available. Documents to be checked during the inspections are the written procedure and the checklist which include inspection with respect to electrical, mechanical, fire protection, industrial hygiene and process safety and a follow-up report. Then for new equipment, a review of the inspection is to be carried out because there is a legal requirement. As per model rule on the Factory Act 1948, Rule 82B, Health and Safety Policy, Point Number 8, prescribed under Section 7A3, 41B2, and 112 of the Factory Act 1948, it says that there is a provision that revise the safety policy as often as may be appropriate, but it shall necessarily be revised under the following circumstances. Whenever any expansion or modification having implication or safety and health of the person at work is made or whenever new substances or articles are introduced in the manufacturing process 
having implication on health and safety of persons exposed to such substances, then inspection is to be carried out. Now we will uh, talk about safety audit. An audit is a systematic independent review to verify conformance with established guidelines or standards. It implies well-defined review process to ensure consistency and to allow the auditor to reach defensive conclusions. The Manufacturing Storage and Import Hazardous Chemicals Rules 1989 says that safety audit is required to be carried out by the occupiers of both the new and the existing industrial activities with the help of an expert not associated with such industrial activities. This is required and the rule 10 sub rule 4 come from effect uh, from 3rd October 1994. The safety auditing. The safety auditing is of different types such as regulatory compliance audit, safety management audit, workplace inspections and work observations. The safety audit objective is to design deficiencies and also weakness which might have cropped up during modifications. The fire protection arrangement and safety systems. The operating maintenance procedure degraded with time. The training preparedness for handling of emergencies. For all such purpose, then the safety audit is required. The scope of safety audit is fire and explosion prevention, emergency management, work injury prevention, health hazard controls, consequences of emergencies, on-site emergency control. There is a statutory requirement for safety audit. IS 14489-1998 describes the code of practice on occupational safety and health audit. And safety audit is a systematic objective and documented evolution of the occupational safety and health system and procedures as per this IS document. The applicable rules for carrying out the safety audit are National Medical Code of India 2016 Part 4, Fire and Safety, Environmental Protection Act 1986 and subsequent rules such as Manufacturing Storage Import of Hazardous Chemicals MSIHC rules, the Chemical Accident Emergency Planning Preparedness and Response Rules 1996 and the Factory Act 1994, the clauses applicable. There are many types of safety audit. The need to perform an audit is determined by client taking into account of specified or regulatory requirement and any other pertinent factors such as significant changes in management, organization, policy or technologies. It is desirable that organizations have a combination of external and internal occupational safety and health audit system. External audit in respect of organizations may be conducted once in two years or as specified by the statute and the safety policy of the organization. The frequency of internal audit may be set once in every year or as per the company policies. Records of accident and dangerous occurrences should be examined and used to identify high risk areas and activities and consequently the frequency of internal audit may be increased. Element of occupational safety and health system are covered in IS 14489 and XRA Class 2.1 and 4.2.4. It co covers the occupational health and safety policy, occupational safety and health organization setup, educational and training, implies participation in occupational safety and health management system, motivational and promotional measures for OS and H, safety manuals and rules, compliance with statutory requirement, new equipment review and inspection, accident reporting analysis investigation and implementation recommendations, risk assessment 
including hazard identification. There is a process for safety audit. There is a preparation part, or we can say pre-audit process. Then actual audit of the particular system, uh, the organization, then post-audit. Before we proceed for the actual audit, there is a preparation that will schedule the audit. We'll prepare a checklist for the audit based on the input from the organization. Then we'll seek the information on the organization from the organization who want to, uh, want to get the audit conducted. Then we'll constitute the team based on the, organization, based on the hazard likely to be there uh, prevailing in the organizations or the other management system, then we will inform the team for conduct the audit. Now team will proceed to the site for audit. During the audit, there will be an opening meeting wherein the organizational leader, as normally we can, uh, we can call management representative, he will call all the senior persons who is handling the uh, management system involved in the uh, production setup or other activities pertaining to organization and they will brief in the meeting regarding the activities and many more aspects pertaining to audit. Then uh, they will also brief the scope of audit. The actual audit will be conducted by team members jointly or individually depend on the nature of the industry or the organization and the size of industry and the organization as well as the scope of the audit. Then after audit is conducted, all members will sit together and they will uh, close the audit. Then they will uh, discuss the uh, what are the audit findings and are the observations. Then they will prepare a draft report and this draft report will be presented in a closing meeting. Then in closing meeting, this draft report shall be discussed. All the record of the discussion shall be documented. Now after this report, this record of discussions is finalized and understood by the organization and the members present there in the closing meeting, then a final report is prepared. The final report was the, is a post-audit activity. Team members will go back to their destination, they will prepare final report and compile together, then they will submit the report to the organization. And then this organization will forward the report to different divisions or the department. The action taken report shall be received back from the divisions or the department by the organization. And this report, action taken report, normally we call ATR, report shall be presented to top management or the safety committee. A decisions are taken on the recommendation of the safety committee how to complete the non-conformance which has been observed during the safety audit. This is a one of the tools for safety audit process. Once member, this we can call a safety window. This, in this safety window, there's people who are working in the plant and the expert team who is going for the audit. They know certain hazards known by them, known by, uh, by self, and also it is known to the organization. Means organization and the audit team both knows what are the hazards prevailing. It is open. Then there is a blind spot where the, the, where the auditors may be knowing based on the experience where may be the hazard, like places of high to access. But the organization team members or the supervisor may not be knowing the hazards. Auditor knows by virtue of his experience, uh, especially conducting the audit in different organizations. Whereas the team members is limited to a particular sport or a particular area of working, he may not be knowing that hazard. Then there is the unknown to others, and known by self. Known by self understood means it is known to the self in the organization, but it may not be known to the auditors. Normally what happens in a few companies, they will hide the hazard simply so that it's not become in the eyes of the auditors. 
This is not the right practice because you are hiding the hazard is as equal as not conducting the audit. But it happens. And sometimes unknowingly, certain hazards are not known to the auditors. It may be new process, new techniques. Hence, the fourth quadrant were unknown to all. Now the auditors know nor the known to the organization. And we should know as many as hazards, unknown hazards, we have to convert to either hidden or open or blind spot so that we can control the uh, hazards prevailing within the plant. Safety audit process is uh, explained uh, in the code 14489, and Excel B. It consists of the uh, occupational safety and health policy, safety agency chart, training record on safety, accident investigation report, accident and dangerous occurrences statistics, records of test and examination, safe operating procedures, record of work permit, record of monitoring of flammable and explosives, maintenance and testing records of fire detection and firefighting equipment, medical records of implies, etc. Similarly, uh, in, uh, it also helps in an C of the code of practice, it uh, helps in information, how the information is collected, and what are the information to be collected. And what are the questions uh, is to be followed on the topics. The topic they have included, the topic included for information collection are safety organization, contractor employee activities, material and safety data, occupancy, safety and health policy, operation and maintenance of the safety manual, expansion modification, uh, what is the authorization procedure, how many employees are having safety education and the training, actually standards of the safety if any, and whether job safety analysis has been carried out, and job safety instructions are available or not. This is the format for action taken report in Annex A. It is given the progress on the recommendation of early safety audit cycles. At the 8 year we have discussed earlier, in this format, there will be a serial number, the address of the hazard or we can say building number and the location, then the recommendations given by the auditors, then a, a reference number, unique identification number as a reference number consists of the serial number, cycle and the year shall be assigned and the progress of the, and the implemented, not implemented with, with approval date of completion shall be specified. Then in next year B, a, report is prepared by the current cycle. It is a format of our current safety audit report. The safety audit and observation recommendations then we shall be writing at the cycle at the year. That is suppose it is 2023, we shall be writing cycle 2023 year. It will be, uh, it will be having uh, information like the serial number, then the address of the hazards or building number and the location, the observations, and then the recommendations. To summarize, both safety audit and safety inspection, the safety inspection look for risky behaviors and hazards that might lead to accidents. Safety audits look at programs and the processes to ensure they meet a company safety goals. As a general rule, inspections are about people places and things. A safety inspection is a formalized process of documenting safety hazards and unsafe practices in workplace. They come in many different forms depending on what is being tested and the unique hazards faced by your organization. This is typically conducted by a certified safety inspector. While both safety inspections and safety orders aim to improve safety in the workplace in inspection typically focus on people and equipment while audits examine process, program and training system. Inspections and audits are both vital to, ins to ensuring safety in the workplace and preventing potential accidents before they happen. Safety audit ensure compliance with laws, laboratory and to provide a safe workplace for everyone. A safety audit identifies different levels of risk in each work area of an organization. 
and audit. Findings can also include how an organization can remediate potential threats to employees and visitors. Compliance to recommendations of safety audit make workplace safer and there will be reduced likelihood of workers injury, illness and health. There are certain books, very important Code is IS-14489-1998, Code of Practice and Occupational Safety and Health Audit, very good uh, document. Other is the Fact Act, 1948, and Rules for Respective States. Another is the Environment Protection Act and the Rules, the CEA Regulations, and the Explosive Act and Rules. There are so many web stores, topics are available. Thank you. I hope you have understood the subject.